That's the sound of the game going live, boys. Yes, hey, <laughs> you bet yourselves. Let's go in the in the map. Mandatory, of course. Rise. Woo, look at this, boys. Superman in the freaking house. Nice. Let's fly around, boys. Let's fly around. This whole map is ours to look at tonight. Okay, and the game almost crashed. <laughs> it's because I was trying low pachinko all at once. All right, back to normal DPI. There we go. Game is about to start, ladies and gents. Game is about to start indeed. 14 seconds left, boys and girls. That's all that we've got. <laughs> nice one. I'm actually going to be saving that song. I love that song for some reason. Or another one. But we're going to be saving for the next uh, break. Okay? Don't worry about it. It's going to be coming in soon. Game is starting now. Yes, indeed. There is a plane coming in straight up for Rom. The freaking... I safe island. All right, there we go, ladies and gents. Give it up for your favorite teams because we are underway with the second game of the night. We didn't have a chance to look at the scores, but I uh, will read them for you. It looks like okay. Let me refresh this page. I'm not too sure what's going on. Maybe I'm not looking where I should be looking. Yeah, maybe I'm not looking where I should be looking. I cannot see the scores just yet. The points don't seem to be in at this moment in time. Oof, interesting drop though. Let's have a look at it. Team dropped early. They're going to be going for Zaverni. There's two squads heading that direction. They're just one squad making its way towards Yasnaya. They're going to be very happy. Here's a bit of a pro tip. First, take these two double houses if you are in duos or in squads. Each team or each member can take one of the houses. They decently have good loot. And you can turn towards Red Shop with a very good chance at it. There we go. It's going to be Kian and Letha and Ipaku's squad heading back towards uh, what seems to be Yasnaya. In the meantime, though, Rosshawk will be covered by another squad. And then uh, there is another one at the back of them going towards the car L, the garage L there. Uh, they're probably hoping to find a Dacia, go somewhere nicer. Last game didn't see anyone going towards military base. And this time it does look like Exodus uh, and his squad are making uh, good use of that. Long drop. They're going to be heading very nicely into the Charlies. I call these buildings the Charlies, of course, because they are uh, in the shape of a C. First, someone taking the Cigar Factory. Cigar Factory is, I call this one because of Andy Pyro, Elementalist. He calls this one uh, Andy Pyro. You know him on the, he's on the first uh, first year at this moment in time. And you probably have seen his cast. He's an insanely good PUBG player. Insanely good. Uh, he calls this one a Cigar Factory for obvious reasons. These little oddity, whatever things look like cigars. So that's probably why. And there we go. Now, let's have a look and see, uh, at the, let's have a look and see the circle Looks to be a Western one, a standard kind of stuff at this moment in time. Of course, poor, poor Zarki. Always ignored, always out of the circle. Rip GG. Never going to happen. That's so sad. Basically, everyone knows if you're in Zarki and you don't find a car or a boat, you're screwed. Nobody going to George just yet, though. Nobody going to George. It does seem like uh, Mikan has dropped down a bit early there. His teammates are going to be falling down as well. They might be making their way towards school, but they can take this building here first. They can get a chance to find a car, and they do find a car, indeed. There we go. So they're going to be very happy with that one. And they should be heading into George, but there's already a squad heading that way, indeed. It might have been the squad. Yes, it was. The squad that went into the L's found a car in one of these places, and they've made their way towards George. It does take 1 minute and 20 seconds with permanent boost on to make it from one of the L's towards the first containers. There you go. There's a bit of a nerdy information for you guys. Uh, thank you so much, guys for the um for the uh hosts much appreciated my dudes paramount you got a bit timed out there but they'll sort of that one out so that there you go happy days indeed now let's see is it now it's three squads in yasnaya interesting interesting indeed just one squad towards the prison they're going to be having shelter as well for their convenience and they should be finding a car handily enough on this road hopefully for their own sake nobody will be trolling the bridge just yet but it might be that blackbeard and his squad 
could come down here if they have spotted the squad coming in from the uh, or sorry going in towards the military zone so it should be interesting to see how that one develops in the meantime though I'm not too sure what's going on here okay so there we go we do have the full squad in cars now one on a motorbike one on a buggy it's not the best kind of setup they're a bit exposed are they making their way towards enemies though no, nope, they're going to be stopping, perhaps stopping by the crates. That should see them safe. And uh, look at this, the double houses. A perfect, perfect way to loot. A nice little place. It's full of good stuff. You want to go there. Trust. Trust. Nobody dying just yet. Nobody taking damage just yet. Oh, never mind. As I say that, something's happening here. One teammate will be raised in Pachinki. There are enemies close by it does look like here Sarudian spotted one of them after rezzing his teammate his teammate will be healing up indeed Jean-Michel has taken a first aid for his help it's got to be Mint actually very very close to him I'm not too sure if Mint has anything more than a pistol he's holding off that pistol there Firing a few shots, and Cerudian, as soon as he hears the pistol going off, he's going to be taking some shots indeed in return, but Mint does not go down to more than to lower than 60 HP, so he's going to be happy with that one. Now has the shotgun out. Cerudian definitely spotted that uh, Mint had something else besides a shoddy butt. Mint gets crossfired. Now it's going to be Cerudian's turn to get dinked down. Whew, helmet gone, half-life left on him. He's going to be going for that very important energy drink. <laughs> Toka going in for the pop boogie. Thank you, man. It's so nice that you can that you can put that emoji in there. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> it's the only one so far that I know uh, that actually uh, has my face on Twitch. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. I should probably make one myself for this channel on a better TTV or something like that. I know you, you naughty boys love better TTV. Scrub has been spotted by a Ceridium. He's not going to be peeking out. This battle has been slowed down. Mint won't be able to be revived. Scrub tries his best to do that. But that's a danger play. That is a danger play indeed. Oh, they make it out in time. You're wondering if Ceridium is going to be going in for the kill. Yes, Jean-Michel does go in there. Bit of an aggression. Eric's going to be there to defend that one, though. Cerudian spots him. No, he hasn't. Oh, look at this. Crossfire after crossfire there. It's going to be Cerudian falling down. It's just Mint now alive. He will be able to revive his teammates while one of their enemies is taken down. Jean-Michel going in for that push, and Cerudian going in for that push did not yield a very positive result. Earth is going to be looking after his teammates who will be healing up their Mint and Scrub. Uh, should be healing up while Earth looks after him. That's going to be the end of the battle there. And one of the teammates lost from uh, Cerudian squad as well. Uh, Cerudian falling down himself. It's just going to be V Day Light. Oh, and very bad. Bunny has taken damage himself. V Day Light. Now, all that remains from his squad. Bunny also taken down low. He will be revived in this building, it seems like. And you're wondering if that's the safest thing to do because, well, it looks like someone's coming in there. Samish taking it around the house has been heard. So Vidalite Light does a smart thing and goes upstairs, but now that means his teammate is left open there. Very bad bunny has been taken down. VD Light peeking in from upstairs. Has no idea where his enemies are, but he takes some nice shots there. Ooh, though that nade fails. We'll be going down on that end there. It's gonna be VD Light staying alive there with his M16. Zemish wants to go in. He does go. Fight coming in now. Oh, and Zemish falls down. VD Light stays alive there. Zemish low on HP, so Scrub goes in fast. Another battle going in here. Earth cannot connect his car 98 shots. Scrub, in the meantime, goes into the house. Let's see how this one's going to be panning out. Last one staying alive. Remember, guys, V Day Life is alone in a 1v3 situation. 1v4 soon, as Zemish will be rezzed. They know where he is, they know exactly his position. Yeah, there we go. Rez comes in for Zemish. It's got just harder right now for V Day Light, who has decent HP to work with. He has no helmet. Absolutely none. Makes his way back into it. His teammates are actually outside the house. The, or sorry, his enemies are outside the house. I thought they might be in. Ooh, good nade, but it's a bit too late. V Day Light is in the safety of his house now. Some moves made by the opponents there. No shots connecting just yet. Finally, some shots connect now. Zemish has been taken down low. VDLI still keeps his HP. 
the same as it was a bit earlier. What a battle. He's playing this one smart, dude. He's playing this one as smart as he can. Knocks that one. He tries to go in for the second one. He's going to be peeked in now. Oh, and that's about it. That's the end of E-Day Light. Mint finally will be taking him down. Another teammate rest here. Will be Scrub. That will be rest. And a full squad for Minter, Scrub, Zemish, and Arab as they make it out of this battle. But barely. What a battle indeed, my dudes. What a battle. That was pretty sexy to watch. All right. Let's see. Nothing seems to be happening anywhere else on the map. Blue is now coming in there. That drop has not been touched as far as we've seen, but we haven't seen. We haven't had time to look at it. So let's see. Uh, perhaps it has been touched. Neox definitely saw that drop winner here, as well as Mike's squad. Someone close to Venice uh, that could challenge uh, Booze pretty, pretty soon is Juju and his squad here. They don't seem to be uh, connecting shots just yet. They don't seem to be engaging one another. And their squad close to Yasnaya's uh, compounds, southern compounds. Blue's coming in here, so you'd like to see Dust Torst making his way back into the safety of the circle. Config as well has to pick up his teammates. Does Config have a full car? Yes, he has a Dazi. He will be going in for his teammates. It will be making it safely out of the blue. It is the first circle, though, so of course. It won't be hitting too hard. In the meantime, nobody there to troll the bridge. As you can see, ladies and gents, they should be making it out alive. Three cars for this squad. Is it three cars? Yes, it is. Three cars for uh, for a uh, Goda's squad. And that's a smart way to do it. Oh, that's exactly why. If one of the car falls, there's uh, always a chance for your teammate to pick you up as well. They are now in the safety of the circle. Config as well, making his way outside. It does look like Bucket's Gaming has found a vehicle to work with here. So, oh, come on. You can do it. There we go. Yes, indeed. They found a was. They're going to be making it safely into the white zone. Config still hungry for loots. Are you kidding me, man? You've done the whole mill base. You got a current 88. You got a silenced UMP. You should be happy, I'd say. No? Okay, never mind. Current 88 doesn't. I can't see the attachments just yet on that weapon. But I'm pretty sure it has. No, I think I see a 4X somewhere there. Yeah, there is a 4X on it. So they should be very happy with what they got at this moment in time. Now, all the teams seem to have made it into the safety of the zone. But look at this one. Daedalus will be facing Ipaku's squad as they are approaching their position right now on foot. On foot, guys. This is going to be interesting. They choose to go for yellow buildings, and that's a smart choice. If they go here first for the yellows. Because there is a squad very, very close to them. A bit of damage, of course, on Epico Squad. has nothing to be worried about. It is indeed the first circle. But let's see if they're going to be avoiding each other, though. The yellows are now out of the zone. <sighs> Ipaku is the first to lead. But he's being cautious. He whips out his M4. Or sorry, SKS. Has no idea that there's someone so close to him. Ipaku spots one, but he's going to be taken down. Bob, perfect, perfect little bit of a trap for their enemies. Let's see how this one's going to be playing out. K1 will be taking some damage himself. It's going to be Bob that pushes in indeed. Ooh, Bob, you mean, lean, killing machine. I'll let them now barely make it into the safety of the circle there. Kion is not in a good place to be rezzed. Bob can easily peek out and try and take him. There's no chance for Ipico's boys at this moment in time, it feels like. <sighs> Dangerous situation. Kion looking at his executioner. One last time before he will be taken down. This would be a miracle if these boys make it out alive. It would be a straight up miracle. His teammates are far away from Kion. No chance for a res just yet. Daedalus has a car 98 if you can see this one indeed. Real Napalm and Alet will take damage. Kion will be falling down. Two members left now. From Ipaku's squad. Let's see how it finishes off there. Smoke coming in from Daedalus. No, actually, he will be going for the nade. That's not going to be uh, thrown that far. Whew, danger place. Danger place indeed. Smoke in. 
And they will drop a secondary smoke as well to try and make their way out of this situation. They know they don't have a lot of chances considering that uh, Daedalus' squad is in the safety of that compound. Daedalus will be trying to go for an elevated position there. NPC in the meantime there spots them with the AK but cannot connect the shots there. Daedalus cannot see them through the smoke and it does look like Elliot does the right thing. Their real napalm taking some damage with the AK through the smoke. But they will be making it out alive. For now at least. Daedalus though, look at this one. He is so aggressive, I like this. Spots one, takes a shot. Suppress car 98 does not connect just yet. Real Napalm now is in real danger. Pardon the pun. Daedalus still going hard. His teammates are close to following them. They don't want to relent. They want the sweet, sweet frag. Of course, you have to remember that every single frag is one or three points. I can't remember which one it is. Maybe someone in chat can tell me. Maybe we do have some of the admins. Let's see. Daedalus now won't be spotting them just yet. Looks a bit forward to make sure that there's nobody flanking them. And yes, they've been spotted in the water. I believe now Daedalus should know. As soon as they reach safety, they're going to be dead. Ella not spotted just yet. Daedalus looking somewhere else. Now gets oh, now will spot his enemy with his first shot. Tries to connect with Napalm. Napalm is one shot away from dying. Back into the water. NPC now has the advanced angle on him. Let's have a look at NPC. NPC not actually looking to his right. He does see the two lads trying to swim it out. And actually you can make it a long time in the water without any sort of issue. But NPC already has the upper hand on him. He will be going forward just waiting for him to come on land. Now all you have to do is come out for a second for air to fill back into your lungs. And then you can go back underwater. So there you go. Ella does just that. Goes up. And now they're going to be going straight down back at it there. Ooh, NPC. Real Napalm doesn't know this trick, though. In the meantime, Ella dies. Real Napalm now, the last one staying alive there, it seems, in the water. Trying to swim this one away. Ooh, he looks like a little embryo. Trying to stay alive, dude. Stay alive, little dude. Stay alive. Ooh, NPC firing shots, but it's going to be Dagger. That takes him down. And that is the end of Ipico's squad. Indeed. Nice try from them. Nice try. They will be out of the run for this one here, it seems. All right, let's see if uh, anything happens somewhere else on the map. A lot of a lot of attention here. A lot of squads. Two squads actually into George. On the northern end of George. No one else seemed to spot each other just yet. No. Dan A.K. Farrow has spotted Goda and their squad. Dan has a UMP to work with at this point in time. Now, does not hear exactly where the shots have come in. But he does suspect that that ridge has indeed someone hiding behind it. And that's a... Oof, that's between the rock and a hard place. Look at this. Goda's squad is stuck in a very, a very bad position. Dan tries to sneak in. Tries to do a little bit of a flank there. And Goda... Actually, his teammates are to his left. But he's alone in his spot. So Dan should be able to take him down cleanly. If he spots him. Alas. Not spotted just yet. Dan doesn't know where his enemy is shooting at. There we go. Finally spotted now. Dan takes a few shots there. UMP is not going to be doing that much damage. Whew. Goda just stays alive there. Now trying to make it out. Car 98 shot on him. Connects. Less than half HP. Between the rock and a hard place. Very, very dangerous position. They need to move in. They need to destroy whoever is in that house. Wolf, Ite. Let's have a look at them. They don't seem to be very aggressive at this moment. They're just kind of sticking around that compound. And yes, indeed, one of them falls. Goda will be taken down by Svetsev. That's a danger play. His teammates can't do too much to revive him at this moment in time. And Dex is going to be trying his best. But they have to clear the other squad before they make their way in. And it looks like they're not thinking about going a bit aggressive there. That's going to be hurting them pretty, pretty bad at this point in time. I don't think Goda has a chance in this one. I think he will be going down. I'm safe to say that. Nope. There actually is a car. There is a car. Giddis is going to be trying the hero move here. Going in with the Waz. Trying to rest his fallen teammate. And they should be able to do that handily enough. <sighs> okay, there we go. Giddis will be rezzing. But is he in the safe Oh, he barely is. You can see that they cannot peek him from the second house. In the meantime, though, Petty will be going down himself. His teammate index spots an enemy player there. It's going to be taken down. Das Torst is the one that uh, gets knocked out by Indexa. 
Arbor and Dexon now does not know what to expect. They know that there's a different squad in the second house as well. They know that there's a squad on that side there on west. There's another squad on the east side. Woo it couldn't get any harder right now for Indexon, who tries to make it out alive. That pan saving his butt. Three shots on it. Three shots on the freaking pan, dude. Level four armor for the freaking win. Yeah, couldn't want more than that. Finally, the boys are thinking to make it out of there. And they will indeed. Their teammate has died down. They do have cars to work with. They do have a chance to get out of here. However, Rico from an enemy squad has taken damage here. It seems that the boys that try to move in, Necro, Zuldan, and Das Toast, uh, have taken damage themselves. And now they know that there is a squad in the double house right over yonder. Let's see what uh, Goda is trying to do with this squad. Car stolen now. Mr. Coca Cola. Wait, where is Mr. Coca Cola? He's far away. Eh, there we go. Oh, they're in the the ruin uh, hills. I hate these. I hate these hills for driving, man. I think nobody likes them. <laughs> one point. All right, gotcha, gotcha. I see the chat now. Plus one point. You're a great caster, thumbs up. Thank you so much. Damage. Much appreciated. I try my best. It's it's my second time when I'm casting PUBG. I don't know if I'm I'm good enough uh, just yet, but you know I'm trying my best to bring this this game as as cleanly and as nicely as possible. There, Woof. get us take some damage. He knows exactly from where though. Yellow house is close to ruins, and it will be Coca Cola that actually will make their way towards that exact spot. Where are these lads? They're not too far, I believe. Why am I looking with the camera when I can talk about good casting? <laughs> talking about good freaking casting. Never mind that. Let's have a look and see who's taking damage here. It's going to be Dan. Ding down. Less than half HP. And now he goes. UMP on him. Scar on him as well. But it's not going to be working out great. Goda takes him down. Good revenge from the boys. as They've been uh, caught between the rock and higher place by, uh, by Dan's squad. And now we'll be going for that sweet, sweet frag instead. Three members left alive out of this one, and they know that there's someone in the yellow houses. Svetsev taking damage. First aid has to be used right now. Well, it doesn't have to be used. You could go for some bandages, as they know they're not going to be pushed anytime soon. And of course, Svetsev has two of his teammates to keep a look on him. But perhaps they have plenty of first aids. Interesting position here, though. Look at this one. Battle somewhere else on the map. Western end... Or northern end of Gaka, it does seem like uh, Flix's uh, squad has spotted an enemy squad. Ooh, he turns around just in time for the boys, for Hammer to make it out in safety. They're going to be making it out safely. Yes, they will. Hammer should be able to spot someone now. Let's look at his camera perspective. He doesn't spot someone just yet, but he does take the damage. So now smartly he prones behind that hill crest. He will be in the safety of it. For now, Eric Mando takes a lot of damage himself. <sighs> Taking down on the outside of the circle. Let's go back and see how this squad is faring. Down by yellow houses. Their teammate comes in as well. Full squad, they're going to be battling it out pretty, pretty soon. Prepping up for the battle up ahead. Prepping up for the battle up ahead. Oh, never mind. There they are. Two squads trying to play it out. Well hidden behind the trees. They don't need to make a move just yet. However, uh, Hammer does not have a vehicle. Or his squad does not have a vehicle. While only in Flix do have loads of them. Two Wazes and a Dacia. Not a problem, mate. Circle's not that bad for him. I suppose he can hug the blue towards the end. But then again, there are already teams doing the same exact thing. Nobody fighting just yet at this point in time. And it does seem that Juju's squad will be facing someone pretty, pretty soon. Has Juju spotted anyone? <sighs> he looks away at the very wrong moment. If he keeps on that angle there, he's going to be spotting that enemy squad pretty, pretty soon. Playing that close blue, it seems. Ooh, there you go. Juju spots another squad. But that other squad's going to be busy trying to do some action against this one here. Shots fired. Do connect. Some of them at least. Mr. Coca-Cola though, his squad still alive it seems. Sargato taking damage. Bubsy falling down to very, very low HP. Punching his way through the walls. Stuck in between a rock and a hard place. What? 
What the crap? How did that happen? I've never seen this happen ever before. Can he make it out alive? No, he's stuck. <sighs> Ouch. That's going to be the end of him. That's going to be the end of Bubbles. Bubzel. Bubzel. Bubs? Bubs? I don't know. How to call it. What was that nade though? Oh, it was a smoke, defensive smoke. Used by uh, Sargantos squad to try and stay out in safety. And they will stay in the safety of that house for the moment. That one's got to be quiet. Any other shots? Anybody taking damage? Some damage taken by the circle, as you can see there. Ooh, or zero. Taken one of the players from... Uh, oh, sorry. Who was it? NPC? I think I believe that's the one that... Yeah, indeed. This is where the fight is happening at this moment in time. And Bob will be falling down. Won't be res just yet. Taken down to one sliver. He's got to be falling, it seems like. It. War Zero in the meantime falling down as well. Crow Cop will be taken as well. A lot of action underway towards Ruins here. Or sorry, towards Venice. It does seem like there's not a lot of chances for NPC in his position right now. Let's have a look and see. Are they followed by anyone just yet? No, they only have one squad to fend off. Then again, this squad is in between two enemy squads by themselves. <sighs> look at this one playing the blue so closely. They can hear each other. They can hear each other. Just three members left alive of the disc squad. Are these guys dead? Yes, I believe they are. Rip GG. All right, so the last one staying alive. Is that Booze? The last one staying alive? No, I was looking on the wrong way. Never mind. Let's go back to this one. Flasco. Or Fiasco Crank. No, he's still alive. Coca-Cola Sargento is still alive. Oh, Juju's uh, teammate takes up a lot of damage. Nettie's will be taken down. Juju now left alone. Someone creeping in on him. <sighs> Dangerous stuff. Juju doesn't want to peek. That's a smart play on the stairs. That is a smart play. Just waiting for Juju to come out. Two guys waiting for him. It's not going to be easy for him to stay alive. I don't see him alive for too long. He gets spotted. That need, I'm not too sure it connected. No, it, it went to a different room. Door closed. <laughs> Juju tries uh, to make his way out. Oh, perhaps he can jump out. He could. He could control jump out of this one. He could control jump out of this one. Nate yeah, coming in is going to be breaking the door off. Juju, get the crap out as soon as you can. That door has been broken. Oh, that's smart. He uses that smoke to uh, bait his teammates into thinking, or sorry, his enemies into thinking that he's out of the house. They're not falling for it, though. Mr. Coca-Cola keeps his position. He's actually uh, drinking a Coca-Cola himself. Oh, there you go. Mr. Coca-Cola, what are you doing here? There you go. Enemy spotted. Not taken down, though. Mr. Coca-Cola is going to be the one that falls. Juju still alive and now playing the blue. I'm not too sure Juju's going to be alive for too long there. He's taking a lot of damage there. As you can see, one HP on him. And down he goes. That's going to be the end of him. That's going to be the end of that squad, indeed. Out of the squad in the meantime, though. As a circle approaches. Oh, Flix has taken damage himself. It does look like three squads are very close to one another, as you can see here. But they're out of the blue. They need to make it into the safety of it. This is dangerous. This one's going to bite pretty, pretty hard. Oh, the circle is a friend of theirs, though. The circle is a friend of theirs. Ex Exodus. Now he's going to have to rest his teammate, Bookus. And I do believe that they have a chance for it. Nobody looking for a house just yet. They're all busy revving each other, rising each other up at this point in time and, and trying to heal themselves. Oof, Exodus. In the midst of the battle there, has a chance to revive his teammate. Still in the bit in the open though, they're going to have to make it past this crest. And past this crest is safety. Oof, not there, mate. Not there. There we go. That's a good spot to stay in. Just barely. Just barely made it up. Mint in the meantime takes some damage. Alright, it's now close to the circle. Mint's squad is in a very good position. There's only one other squad in the yellow right now. And they already have defensive angles. <sighs> that SKS. It doesn't sound good for someone. Was it Index that taken damage? No, it wasn't. I do wish that this game would work a bit better. No, it does. All right, let's have a look at the map, guys. Let's see. There we go. 
Focus came and finally taking that damage because he didn't go on the other side of the lip. Now taking down. Circle approaching in seven seconds. His teammate needs to make a move. There's no chance for a res. Car 98 shot comes in. Rixo also taken low. He's into ruins with his teammates. They're going to have to move into it now. That blue is going to bite really, really hard. Another uh, shot taken though by Wolf. It does look like they're making great work at this moment in time. Finding some nice frags. There's going to be loads of squads facing each other off here. Wolf taking damage himself. Only one Yumki as well falling down. Arima's going to be trying to help his teammates out. But now he's going to be facing a whole squad by himself. Cannot do more but dig down another. And that's going to be him falling down. A lot of squads falling down at this moment in time. Fast-paced action as the circle grows smaller. All of the teams killing each other off. In a very, very <laughs> insanely fast manner. What's going on? Daedalus all of a sudden. All that remains for his squad is going to be falling down as well. It won't be too long before another squad gets wiped out. And a full squad now in a 4v2 situation. Flix is now left to uh, res his teammate. But can he do that? Flix behind a was. Uh, got into the guard by mistake. Go back, res your teammate. They do have a chance for it. They're in the safety of the circle as well. They could play this one smart. But they're already being chased down. Look at this one. Zemlish already chasing them. Already close to the next one. They know the location of Flix's squad. This is going to be quite dangerous. Old schoolers approaching now. No one's shooting just yet. I do believe Scrub might notice them pretty, pretty soon. Both of the teams now in the safety of this. Oh, shots fired by Flix. That will give away their position. At this moment in time, the suppressor won't do too much for you, considering how small the circle is. All of old schoolers moving in very, very army style, as you can see on the southern end. So I'll be trying some shots. Cannot spot more than one, though. I like this two-pronged attack, though. I don't give them a lot of chances. Shots fired in. Nobody taking damage just yet. Just check fires, but someone actually approaches through, and that's Zemlish behind the Waz now. And that's a good spot to be in. They cannot shoot the Waz. They cannot destroy, because if they dare to peek out, they're going to be taking damage. And Flix is the first one to take that. Circle coming in now. Whoo! actually, old schoolers are going to have to make it into the safe area. And the safe area is actually not a good place to be in right now. It's an open space. Flix and Zombie have the upper hand in terms of positioning. They're taking their shots away. Scrub is the first one to fall down. Irv, so close to falling himself, but he's not down just yet. He's still alive. Scrub now. The only one that actually took any kind of a damage now. Shots fired against the Waz, and it's going to be Zombie taken down. Waz broken, and it will be indeed... Zamlish with the final frag of the map, and it will be the team of old schoolers. GG for them in the second match of the night. They will be the victorious ones with four and five, two and two kills. Plenty of good kills in them. GG once again. Fantastic second map. Great circle, great finishing. Absolutely tremendous slaughterhouse towards the, the previous three circles that you can see there. Absolutely insane. Great game. Great game that we had here, ladies and gents, for the very last one indeed. Don't go anywhere, though. We're going to be coming back with the scores. I will be sending the scores myself now to the admins.